everyone, this is your tower reading for Saturday the 11th of June. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Let's have a look at what's coming up. Okay. So, interesting. So we've got the Six of Vessels, which is the Six of Cups. The Six of Arrows, which is the Six of Swords. And then Balance, which is Temperance in the regular tarot. And what I'm getting here is we've got six and six. So we've got a couple there. We've got two. Then we've got two snakes, two dragons. We've got a relationship with this human and his boat, this swan. Then we have the connection between water and earth, these two otters. That's what I'm getting. There's twos everywhere. Two, two, two. So this day is about relationship. This thing is about two things coming together and the sense that I get is that you feel very much aligned with your emotions, your physical world and your emotional world are coming together. What that means is you're hearing your guides. This is why I have 444 in my name because that's what that means to me. If I want my life to work, what I need to do is I need to build my relationship with my higher power, with my guides, with my angels, whoever I work with that has the best intent for my life. When I get close to that force, that energy, and I listen to the message, I honor the message and I take practical action in my life, that's when my existence here on planet Earth begins to thrive and succeed. And you're very close, you're in harmony, you're in relationship with your higher power, with your guides. Listen to the message. If you do, you will transition you will go on a journey to transform your daily life and it will, it will result in balance, in temperance, in things moving forward, in your life becoming more stable and being on the right path, being aligned with what you're meant to do and then expecting the unexpected. When you listen to the guidance and you don't question it, like sometimes your guidance will say, you know, go to the shop at four this afternoon. I know you had a plan for seven, but go at four anyway. And you say, well, listen, I'm busy. I don't want to. But you stop arguing with it and you go. Then it may be that you go to the store at four and you bump into the person who is really helpful in helping you secure that job which you were after, but which would have never happened under any circumstances. So that's what this is. Trust that there is a greater wisdom at work in your life, that it's not just you, that your guides, your angels, they're holding your hand today. You're not walking alone. You're walking hand in hand with something greater than yourself, which wants a good, positive outcome to your life. Feel that. Trust it. Don't question it too much. Just go with it. And something beyond your wildest dreams will come into your life. Something that your own wisdom could have never foreseen. Some shape will come out of the stone that you could have never expected or put there yourself. So that's what this is. Walk in faith in harmony with something greater than yourself. And you'll see a wonderfully balanced day that leads to bigger and better things. And that contains miraculous, unexpected Fabulous, good things within the day. 6 and 6 is 12. And 14 is 26. 2 and 6 is 8. And 8 in numerology is power. So the power doesn't just come from you today. The power doesn't just come from spirit. The power comes from the two of you joining forces and you becoming your strongest, best, most powerful self. This guy is looking really dark and mysterious and cool because he's got a partnership with this boat. If he was just in the water with his cloak there swimming for his life, he would look far less stylish. So he is doing well because of his relationship and that's you. You will do, you will be at the peak of your powers when you enter this relationship with the universe. Okay, And that's when things will go your way. Have an amazing day. If you'd like a private reading with me about your love life or your career or how to get in touch with spirit, how to connect with something greater than yourself. If you feel like you wish you had faith, but unfortunately you've been stuck with atheism and there's just no way that you can believe, then get in touch for a personal reading. We can look at what will work for you. The website is gregoryscott.com. Just click on the readings tab and order the reading there. 
please remember to subscribe to the channel. Check out my Facebook page as well. It's facebook.com forward slash Gregory Scott 444. I do live tarot readings on there. So come visit us on the Facebook page. We have a bit of a um, celebration thing going on there. So please join me there and I'll speak to you tomorrow.